Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> uh, welcome to our event today. Yes. And like Thank I you. said, you can be as loud as you are because you like you the way you are, so you can yell if you want. And I know you have a lot of energy <laughs> to give it. <laughs> yes? As you are, bet. Am I, pronouncing, am I pronouncing your name correctly? That's fine. That's good. That's, Asbjorn? Asbjorn is like my that? name. Yeah, Asbjorn, okay. that's good. That's my name. Yeah. It's a weird <laughs> name in English. <laughs> it is? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, went to the, I went to the. You don't want to bring a live with that name in, in the States. I went uh, when I was uh, 16, 17, I went to uh, California, start high school. And they did not understand. What's your name? Aspirin? Is that with one S's or two S's? Like in fat ass or like in... And I said, no, it's like in bad ass. <laughs> okay, like a bad so, ass. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to have that name. No. That's, a good, that's a good story to start a, to start a conversation, right. to introduce yourself. But for you guys, who don't know who Asbjorn is. He's a career coaching and a public speaking teacher. Very good, very, as you can see, he has, he brings a lot of energy to the stage. And I remember the first time I met him with the powerhouse, how is the power pose, Asbjorn? Power, like do it, do, do it, please, do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, but today we are not going to be talking about public speaking or powerhouse or power post we are going to go and say to the point and kind of giving you the juice of how a storytelling can make your cv your resume come to life right and for you who don't know who we are and keshi yes and i we are the founders of two yes. cents a community that is dedicated to empower and support expats in Denmark and all over the world i welcome to but yes, we are here to kind of help you to achieve your goals. So we want to collaborate with each other. And this is what we are doing in a weekly basis. We come here and come live and invite people to share their experience, to share their knowledge, to help us drive and achieve whatever our goals are, either personal or professional. And we are focusing in three main streams, entrepreneurship, personal development, and career development. Today, we are starting the series of career development with Asbjorn and storytelling applied to the to resume in general. It could be LinkedIn profile and story and, and your CV. Yes. yes. So if you have any questions for Asbjorn, please drop them and uh, Asbjorn will be happy to answer all your questions. This is an opportunity that we usually don't get every time where we have an expert in the building to educate us where we can learn and how to tell a better story with our CV. So drop any questions that you may have, and then we'll be happy to take all of them. And just important details. Yes, I know you, have, you might wonder. Yeah, but if this is a community for expats, Asbjorn doesn't look very, very expat, right? Is it? Yeah. Where is he from? Well, he's actually Danish, very Danish, as you can see. But he has the difference. Also, the, the why is he so special to us? Is because he has the knowledge and the experience as a recruiter so how how or what danish recruiters are looking at when it comes to your resume and cv so yeah. you will we will learn today the scandinavian way of reading a resume as you feel yourself home and if you you are free to introduce yourself in another way you feel that you are missed that we have missed anything please Take it away. Yeah, take it over. <laughs> okay. Back to you. Your resume. Now, if if I should take um, and and um, put together in, in in just some small sentences the major mistakes that I see out there in the, all those years that I've been reading uh, resumes, that is one thing that that's that is very clear, and that is describe your task. How, and how it went, the result of your task. You got to quantify, yeah. quantify your results. Now, I see very much uh, often like 
the abilities, your task, whatever you did, you, you, there's not enough description. Details, details in, in description of how it went is so important because details makes you come up on stage. So, so um, I see again and again that people are much better than, than what says in their resume. I have been asking so many times, did you get any credits? Did you get any um, uh, from, from your ex-boss? Did he say a sentence to you uh, that was good? Did you get any good grades? Did you, and all, almost all the time, yes. I, I, there was, I had some good credits. They, 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 they told me that I was very skilled, that I was very good. So why is that not on your resume? So that, that's, that's the first point that I see again and again, again, the first mistake that you, you, you got to have a law in Denmark, a law, a culture law, the law of Gen T, and often it's, it's, they don't throw that out. You want to throw that law of Gen T out and, and get on that stage yeah. and shine because you are so good. Yeah. The, the, the foundation is everybody has a wonderful thing to give to a workplace. Everybody comes... Uh, with, with, with a thing, their thing, and it's so important that you show off. You got to show off your thing. Everybody has a passion. Everybody uh, is good at something, a task, and okay. that is so important that you show that off. You show it off by by. It's not your your duties. You got to tell about. It's your accomplishments. You got to in details. What did you accomplish? Uh, did you did you um, get a better re revenue uh, from the company by your what you did? Uh, better profit, you know. Into details, you got to describe it. Now, another thing I see often: if you have a good relationship with your ex boss, uh, let put his name and phone number right in there in the description of of the time you were there. When you describe what you did and how it went, let's. So, so the uh, the recruiter can call your ex boss up on the phone. Of course, mm -hmm. you've got to ask your ex boss. But there's some some simple things that that can very quick make you shine. And if you do that, now another mistake that I see often is simple. It's so simple. It's spelling mistakes. I, I see that a lot. Now, when I was in recruitment, H H R. I had 200, 300 uh, resumes that I had to look through for every position, and I you gotta be rough. It's like you have six seconds. Six seconds is about what you have as a survey. That's and that's about right. Six seconds. If you have 200, you you gotta work through. So just one or two spelling mistakes, and I will put them in the wrong pile. You can sign mm -hmm. on and, and Grammarly. It's 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 a free. Uh, spelling uh, check uh, program, and and you you, you really got to make sure that your resume is totally without uh, any typos. You don't want to make any typos. So get it reviewed by a career counselor. Um, mm. Your friend can read it too. And and what you want to that the major point is the resume is got to show quick what do you bring to the table. Can you solve the problem that the that the, the the company that you're applying for want you to solve? Can you solve it? Can you go in right there and and with your abilities, with your skills, with your education, solve their what they have to be solved for, for them? You know. Um, another thing, if you come right out of college, uh, it is so important that you you. Understand that volunteer work is as important as paid work. A lot of people that just finished college, they only put in their paid work. You want to put in also volunteer work. And that is as important as the paid work now. And that can be volunteer for Red Cross. That can be what you two guys are doing with two cents. That's wonderful. You want to make a difference. And and I want to... I want to they give you credits because you you get on that stage just by creating two cents, uh, and that's wonderful. Mm. Uh, in every way, uh, if you go vacant, if you go on un unemployed, 
you want to you want to do something every day of course you want to you send also out those applications but you also want to do something like on linkedin uh write articles uh, for for what's your thing what's your passion uh, let's take you Linné. uh you communication and you like written communication and you like or uh, oral communication public speaking so you want to mm -hmm. write about that and and i even want to press like if you say if you write an article uh on linkedin on the roll the 1300 uh, digits and also you put it on the the this uh, i don't know the expression on linkedin but you could put it on two 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 places if you do that once a week Linné, on communication which is what you want to change to and and what, what you like what is your passion uh in a year you have 56 articles now mm. if you yeah. apply with me uh, for a journalist spot for a journalist position mm -hmm. and i go mm. to your yeah. linkedin profile and i see that you have unsteadily uh, been writing an article a week about communication about whatever communication uh, journalism you know then you have a foundation with me you 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 are you are have become lit lit mm. lit right yes right. Uh, right. yeah and also in your case Linné, you want to change your your uh, you want to go a new career road and LinkedIn is an excellent way to do that because uh, I can very easily see if people are serious, if they want to change their career, because if they have done a lot of work, uh, for example, by writing articles on LinkedIn, uh, then I can see, wow, mm -hmm. this person is serious about changing career. Mm -hmm. I uh, see. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It, yeah, it's definitely. all. Let I me just finish. Wait. It's all a part of getting out of, on that stage. Um, get get up on that stage by showing off. You know, you you gotta make noise on the social media to get seen. It's not enough anymore just to write applications. You gotta mm. you gotta show what you can every day. On uh, for example, LinkedIn is awesome like people things you know debate with people uh, 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 give people credits uh, and and you know state your opinion whenever the, there is something to to discuss you know be active out there i'm i'm done in a little while on linkedin i have been following several people that has been vacant and out of job and if, if you see um, i've been seeing several times it, a year maybe a year and a half and then they get in job because they get seen and and they get contacted by by em employers so so that's an excellent way to yeah okay uh, the last thing uh, tailor your resume tailor your resume for each position each position you apply for you want to tailor your resume how you you want to um in Danish, we say "du skal i talset kravne." You have to uh, to um, the demands. You have to um, answer their demands. That you can answer the demand that they have in the uh, the job ad, and that's the most important mm -hmm. thing. And that's why you have to tailor your resume. And then the last thing: website. Everybody has to have a website on what they are good at and what they are skilled at. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, that's very important uh, to have a website to yeah. show off to show off all you, what you yeah. can. And yeah. it, it, so the uh, that that was that yeah. was about it um, for for the resume. Yeah. Thank you very much, Aspian, for this sort of resume <laughs> for this sort of uh, summary of uh, you know about both LinkedIn and and CV as well as branding, because what you mentioned is pretty much about how you build your personal brand. So you create trust and credibility when it comes to show off and when you come to show your abilities, what, you, what, what, have, what have you got right there? Uh -huh. Now, I can see what you are saying, but I still, I'm still missing how people can apply storytelling to all this 
dynamic. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me read an example. Ex of yes. Example. I'm a state university graduate with a bachelor, and this is just an example, it's not me, uh, with a bachelor of science in marketing and psychology minor. Held various summer jobs and internships focusing on sales support activities. Served on several university and fraternal, uh, fraternal committees. Built additional sales related capabilities via via school fundraising activities and other volunteering volunteer volunteering efforts my english is it's bad today i'm sorry so and then you want to get in, in in details with what kind of volunteer efforts for example well i was uh, a a uh, a, um, a group organizer of 62 students I organized five groups of, of, of 62 students each or whatever I did and what was the result. So you want to get in details of your volunteer activities within that house. Maybe it's a fraternity house. Uh, and that's how you describe, uh, you know, how good you are and what you can do, your abilities. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was All that, right. What, so, what are the, what are some? Yeah, I think I'm get your point. But I, if we were to break that down, what are the some storytelling techniques that people can apply? That it goes, okay, I'm gonna apply this. Yes, okay, I get the details part. And what else? Storytelling techniques that we can, that yeah. people can apply, yeah. that we can apply to. Yeah. There's, there's, um, it's really the the uh, if you can. It, it, if you have the space, eight, ten, ten lines, you you can create a, a small story that shows uh, your 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 task and what you did and how good you are. And you always say that there needs to be a main character, a opponent, antagonist, a a, a fight and a, a solution. You know, a fight and mm -hmm. and a success. So it, it is like the Batman. Uh, Joker fight uh, you know, movie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. You have Batman. Uh, you have the Joker. You have the fight, and you have the resolution. If you can get that into your story, uh, in in your personal profile or in your uh, professional profile, that that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, but if you that's that that's hard to get in within ten lines. If if uh, the the at least try to to uh, describe a problem and then how you solve it. Describe a challenge mm. and then how you went in and solved it. That's very good. At the fraternity, yeah, so we had this problem, and, and uh, this is what I did, and and this is how how it went. It went good. So so that's that's really what you want to do in in every task mm. that you describe mm. in your CV. Describe yeah, that, you know. Uh huh. Wow. That's how you story tell. That. It. Yeah. Okay. I see. So for every task, like in your both in your personal like summary of your profile, and yeah. every task you have to come from that perspective. What yeah. was the problem? What was the action? You know what? What? Yes. What I did to solve yeah. the problem, and then the result, because yes, the result is exactly. yeah, the actual achievement, right? Exactly. The accomplishment. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I see. What else? Is there anything else that we are missing for as for the storytelling technique? Um. No. No. Uh, I can. I can read some some other examples. Um. This is this is for the summer intern when you just uh, you are an intern a lot when you're a student, right? This is this description of a summer no. intern. Performed uh, research activities for various marketing-related areas, such as a prospect ident identification, new product ideas, speaking opportunities for the CEO, and a few other things. There were more things too, but uh, it was last summer, so I forgot those. Trying to be funny. Uh, optimized uh, the company. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if that worked. Um, optimized, 
Off to it's risky, I think. Huh? It's risky trying to be to play funny. Yeah, I don't know if you, can, if, uh, you, you it, it's 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 all right to try that. It's it shows that you have uh, that you have guts. So for me, it's all right. Optimize the company's social media structure to include LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus. It was really neat because I got to keep up with my friends' status updates all day long while I was stuck at work. So that that's a little story too. You you describe what you did mm -hmm. and and. Uh, and you you um you get a little personal too. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. I see. That that that, that oh, is well, how okay. to and, and that's that's stand opposite uh, of you just describing uh, updated social media. Uh, here you tell a little story where you tell what you updated and also that you uh, could see your, your how your friends were doing while you get paid and this is just you know small things like that 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 makes the cv the resume comes alive it, it, and it makes you stand out and it makes you get on that stage um and that's so important uh, yeah, what I you don't want to do what you really don't want to do is just bullet point what you can without describing uh, more details. I see a lot more like Microsoft Office Park uh, uh, package. Sorry, that was Danish. And then there is five dots. What does that mean? Uh, that you're good, that you're bad, and who says so? Is it your own opinion, or is it uh, the uh, the ex boss? Uh, so, so it's 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 important to 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 like I said before, go in details and describe it more thoroughly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, I have a question. So when you uh, say describe it more thoroughly, uh, um, there's also this standard that says that your CV shouldn't be more than one page, otherwise it will be too much. And you have like over 2,000 CVs, uh, hundreds of CVs in front of you, which need to go fast. So in describing and telling stories more thoroughly, I'm guessing that it would take more space. So how do you manage it? Is there a criteria that it has to be one page or your story has to be in one page um, CV? Even very very good over. question. I get that often. I get that often. Now, I don't mind. This is so so individually, but I don't mind if it's two pages or, or three pages, as long as it's relevant. Okay, as long mm -hmm. as it, it's it's neat, as long as it, 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 in communication, as if it's a storytelling a resume, and if it, if it's as funny small sentences, and if it is uh, entertaining. Uh, while it's mm -hmm. relevant, while you stand on that stage and show off how good you are and show off how it went and, and give me those results. Uh, what can you bring to the table? As long as, as it's, you know, I can see that I don't mind three pages. I don't mind at all. Yeah. But yeah, but um, another thing that came up, what you just said, some people may argue that it's better to save all the stories for the interview that the CV has to be like sharp. Yes, you can tell a story, but it has to be like a concise and sharp. And then if you want to expatiate on that, then you can bring it to the interview because also CV is also a good way to spark some sort of curiosity. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're like, oh, they want to learn more about this. And then in the interview, you can now expand. What exactly. Do you say about that? <laughs> it is so important to understand that the CV is only it's only appetizer. The CV is got to get you to the to the interview. So you 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 um how do I say it? Uh, you have to boast in your CV, and you have to to uh, make a cliffhanger. You have to to uh, make it exciting. You have to uh, mm. uh, it, it, the, the CV is only a step to the job interview, but it's it's it's. It has to enlighten the 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 rec recruiter or the employer for more. Uh, he he ah, this, this it looks good. Yeah. yeah. So so if you have something to show off with yeah. that, let's say a good result on on your summertime job uh, that you did. Uh, you invented something, you coded something for, for you, you working as a coder, and you, you made a program that saved them a lot of hours. 
Now, you want to say that in your CV. You don't want to save that for the job interview because that might bring you to the job interview that you suddenly got this splendid idea uh, and coded something uh, that really saved uh, this employer a lot of time. So is, that was just an example on don't hide away all the good you did. Okay. Now, also, let's say that you only have been working as a host hostess in a restaurant. So now you are you are done with your bachelor or master's and you have to, to start looking for a job. Now, let's say that you were a hoster in a restaurant uh, that come 500 guests during those 10 hours, whatever you worked. And you said hello to them, you, 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 you smiled to them, and you showed them the table, and you made them feel at home. 200 a day. Let's just say, say that. And you also said goodbye to them. So, so uh, the, the important task of just, because it's not just being a hostess, it, it's ho hostess, hostess. It's a very in, okay. important position. <laughs> say, say it, please. Hostess. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, uh, so if you can, if you have had that position every weekend, whatever, for for a year or two, uh, you have maybe made twenty five thousand people feel good. You know, mm. and say good, good, and 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 um, and you know, sum up. Well, what I want you to do every time uh, when you have uh, uh, just a job like that and it's just not just it, it's a very uh, it's job that that's very important for for a restaurant owner that that the hostess is all smiling and 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 giving a good atmosphere and how was the food and you know really um uh, you 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 want to multiply uh, multi uh, sum or up all, all the guests that you have uh, been saying goodbye and say, it's because that's show how much you did. You know what I mean? So every working task is important, even though the, the, the small working tasks seem very little, you, 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 so you put it all together in the CV. In two years, I mm -hmm. said goodbye and, and I said hello. I greeted 25,000 people. Important mm -hmm. task. And I guess you, know? you get my point. I can see that. The, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I can see that it's more like the way of framing. So instead of yes. just saying, I say I greeted and and you know you said goodbye to all to all those guests. I I I'm saying what the effects and the impact of my job had in those mm -hmm. people, which is in this case like create a good atmosphere, getting them to come back, and like make, making them feel good, and also amplifying the number. I can totally see that. All right, as we, we are running out of time, but before we close up, I would like to. Maybe uh, show the, an example in a in a, in, a, in an actual uh, CV. Maybe we don't have we won't have time to go over LinkedIn, but at least a CV because we have been talking about uh, mm -hmm. CV rather today. Yeah. So if we can share uh, the screen and just show uh, an example sure. of CV, of an actual CV, yeah. and then you can tell us, okay, what is? Can you see our our screen? No. Can you see? Can can <laughs> no. uh, no, I can't see anything. Oh. I can't. There's Hold nothing. Hold on. Hold on to share the screen now. Yeah. Okay, she didn't share. She didn't share the screen. <laughs> we can't share the screen. Oh, good. <laughs> we can do it next time if there's a yeah. gonna be a next time. No, 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 no. We are doing now. So I can't see anything. There's no sharing. One moment. We are sharing now. Ah, gonna, ah, now something. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. For example, so this is a yeah. This is one a, just one of a job that I applied for not uh -huh. so long ago. Can you make it bigger? Uh, Can you make it bigger? Yes, sure. Can you see it now? Can Very see good. Uh, it's uh, nine plus uh -huh. years. Uh, that's good. If you're a business developer, the first question is, how did it went? How did it go? I help businesses uh, expand the marketing by creating long-term. Yes, v very good summary. Um, sales copy and uh -huh. writer, CEO, graphic to improve business. 
you know, yes, yes, very good description, very good description. Uh, result, uh, where are the result of what you did? CEO crafted product at Seagulls, uh, is there any result? Mm -hmm. Maybe the result, the result comes later, online promotion, personal mm -hmm. communication, the kind of, into customers with uh, ah, very good, eighty-five success rate. Yes, cultivate uh, and nurture customers' relations in defining new opportunities. Very roughly four hundred. Excellent, excellent, very good, very good. Four hundred recruitment, two hundred plus reviews. Oh, four point nine star rating. C. This is what I'm talking about, uh, Ine. That's ah. very good. Uh, two of us, uh, TCN time change, Nordics. You know more than yes, you are there. It is so good. 20, uh, 35 cities with over 40 demanding. Yes, I love it. I love that CV. I am in love with your CV. Um, increase yeah. of, yes, it's very good. It's very good. Yeah. You got the point. So, got can the point. You see, so can you see there the storytelling aspect? Oh, or, you yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Education. Uh, let, let, I, can you make it bigger, the education? Yeah, make it bigger there. Yeah, yeah. Mm, the, Thesis, how, what, how, what, I can read that. Nudge yeah. customer, edu friendly yeah. behavior, good works, we can yeah. operations, yes. That's, that's very good. That's what I thought. I, we, we'd been talking two times on the phone, and if I should evaluate you uh, with your, what you're good at, with your skills, I would say uh, public speaking, and you would be an awesome leader. Uh -huh. I can feel you have the leader uh, in you, and you are, uh, I think you're a very good presenter. Uh, that's my expression uh -huh. of you. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Effective communication. Exactly. Well? Public speaking Toastmasters. Yes. Yeah. See. Yeah. yeah. I thought so. I thought so. You are. Yes. Coaching, persuasion, storytelling. Yes. Negotiation, active and fast learner. Yes, you are. You are very sharp. Good. That's exactly how I view okay. you. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to giving critical feedback, I see that you've already pointed out the good part. But what part do you think that she should improve on if you are to give that critical feedback from mm -hmm. an objective point of view? What would you say? What could I improve? Uh, only personal stuff. Uh, very good picture, by the way. Um, only personal stuff. Uh, maybe a little hobby in there. This is Danish. This is Scandinavian. You don't do that in the States. But we do that here. Mm. Um, what do you do? Mm. Uh, to put something in about yoga, about your what you, what books do you mm. read? What maybe uh, if you go into a bookstore, mm. what department do you go to? A funny story like that. Uh, do you have a nerd mm -hmm. hobby? Is it trains? Do you like yeah. it? You know something, something that you you just you know. Let me yeah. feel your 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 leisure time. Let you feel your let yeah. me feel you how, how you are and as a as a person as a um, yeah, that's it. Mm. Yeah. I see. It's like kind of showing my human side, not only my what I have done, what I have accomplished, yeah. but also who I am when I'm not working, who I am when I am with my friends, and when I am yeah. just being me in my most chill <laughs> space. Yeah. The so, the, the, yeah, the only thing. The, I, I just missed a website. I, I miss your website. Do you have a website? Yeah, no, that's, that's something that is just my LinkedIn, but I, yeah, you got me. <laughs> you got me in that one. Like in my yeah, case. You've you got to make a website. You've got to make a website. And then. Yeah. then, then that be a blog? Uh, and maybe that also. With your uh, public speaking skills, make a YouTube channel. Uh, mm -hmm. About you know, uh, there's there's um, you have a YouTube channel, okay? Engaging yeah. enough right now. Yeah, in case we have to show up, right? In case so you want to find, I have a YouTube channel, guys. Please follow me on my YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> my name and my family. In case you be now, I'm showing up and I'm presenting what I have. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Milen. By the way, Milen, do you have any any question for us? We are here right now. That is related because you are also Milen is one of, one friend of mine that is actually watching this this live, and maybe she has one question because she's also changing kind of a career similar to what I am doing. Milen, let us know if you have question. some question, and you guys, the, the others that are also watching this 
like, please share your comments because we are reaching to the end yeah. and we are leaving very soon, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah, uh, in this, in, in my case, as you, as you said, a, a website for me, because I, I love writing because I am performing that more now, more than public speak, and I think this is more like the, the YouTube channel, it's more like education. I would like to be also to improve in my public speaking skill, but it's more like for this kind of events, moderation, facilitation, you know, of kind of interviews, podcasts, perhaps, would yeah. be my thing later on. But I think YouTube channel, I will leave it to NKC. <laughs> and I would say I would kind of invert, like invest more in, more in writing, creative writing. So I would and let, let me right see a, an article a week on LinkedIn. An article a week. I hate that finger. I do it. I hate when people no, do it, and I now know. I do it to yeah. you. <laughs> I got some homework for you. <laughs> oh my God. Every week, I want to see an article. I have to comply that. Yeah, I have to keep my word. Yeah. So Leticia has a question. She says, "Which website did you use to write your CV? Linux, really capturing an easy approach." So Leticia, you can actually go to Enhanced CV, and I have a YouTube channel, by the way, where I talked about the CV templates that you can use, and I shared the link there. So if you search for my name, Inketri Osuji YouTube, you can also see that. But Enhanced it, CV, please. I'll share it, um, but Enhanced CV, you can check Enhanced CV templates, and you'll find the resources <laughs> on the template that you But even easier, we will share We will share those links on the recap post that we always do after the event, we will share those links. The Enketri's CV, en Enketri's, yes, it's the CV oriented, yes, right? Yes. Enketri's CV is video, and the link for Enhanced. I got some uh, yes, links I too to to free uh, templates, CV t templates, and to uh, two yes. very good co uh, YouTube coaches that I found on YouTube that people can listen to. So I I can link yes. those two uh, uh, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Thomas Frank and Andrew La Civita. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, Milen, the next the next question is asking. Milen is asking. If it is relevant for for this for her experience that uh, she needs to put about my personal characteristics, if it is relevant, you, Milen, you mean for for the for that job particularly? It, it's 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 to get seen. It's to get known. When, when you show vulnerability, even in a resume, show person a vulnerability is just being open uh, and and telling about your hobby, whatever it is, uh, something funny. Mm. Uh, uh, then then you you connect more. Vulnerability connects more. It's a Brandy Brown, BB Brandy Brown. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, she, she, she mentioned that it's for Israel. So does that have to do anything particularly with the country where she is at, or? No, is Israel. Um, she is based on uh, yes, yeah, she's based in Israel. It doesn't have to do anything with a particular country or culture. Oh, or I, I, I. I only know about Scandinavia. I don't know about Israel. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But what Makes you sense. can do as well, um, Ren, you can also just check online. I'm sure that there will be resources as well. We can check for you if you need help. Or you can also check online, like as it relates to the country where the you country. are. Um, what is the requirement yeah. for writing like a good CV? If there is a particular character, I'm sure yeah. you'll find something. Yeah. So. Uh, Manuela, Manuela is asking, how does the result factor should be shown in a CV focused on the education industry? For example, teachers. Mm. Good question, I, I, Manuela. Thank you. I, I, I didn't get that. Did I repeat? Repeat that. So, the, yeah, Manuela is asking, is how, does, how does the result factor should be shown in a CV focused on the education industry? Because, yes, how do you show up ah, your yes. accomplishments? To be yes. a teacher, okay. you are applying yeah. for a teaching okay. position. Okay, if if yeah. you have teaching before, uh, if you're teaching before, maybe the students ha have have given you credits. If you have been a teacher before teaching, maybe your 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 ex boss have said something. You are a very good teacher. You're very skilled. The, the students love you. Uh, uh, whatever you 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 have, you can put on your CV. Now, if if you are a new teacher, I would. Tell about my passion for, for teaching and what, how it makes me happy to 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 make people learn new stuff. So there, I, 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 I want to get clear my my passion for it, your passion for for teaching, and why you love it. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And maybe how maybe yeah. how students have reacted to you to a particular approach, a particular learning method, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. How, theory. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Theory. How those, yeah. Yeah. How those? Uh, how did have? You know how this particular, uh, let's say, specific approach that you have, Manuela, have it has actually enhanced students' capabilities of learning and engagement in the. In, in the in the classroom, perhaps yeah. saying like, okay, a students yeah. have increased their engaging capabilities from I don't know how kind of make a number before only two students only two students were participating actively, and now after since I exactly. started to apply my Very method, good. Uh, Very have good. Increased, uh, fifteen fifteen yeah. students are participating, so it has increased in a, this percent. I don't know, made them uh, they made the math, you know, do the math. Yeah. Fifty percent increase on on engagement, something around it, right? Does yeah. that make sense? Very good, yeah. Linnea. You should yeah. be a career coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell her every time that she should be a coach. That this is her calling, actually. I'm working. I'm working yeah. on that. I'm working. <laughs> many things, many things, my plate right now. Okay. Do yeah. we have more questions? Uh, yeah. No, I don't think we have more. But uh, guys, uh, feel free to leave a comment and then we will come back with uh, some more, que- uh, more answers right. from us if you have more questions, okay? We have to leave now because we don't want to take more of your time. No, please share with us the link that you mentioned before. I will do that, yes. Yeah? Now? So we can, we can uh, leave it on the recap post and in case you will also share her, uh, her link and uh, the, the, the yeah. The link to the yeah. CV as well as the link to the YouTube channel YouTube. where I explained in detail. Yeah. So I'll share the link to the recap post on two cents page. So after this live, just go to two cents page, maybe in the next one hour, yeah. you'll see all the details. Also, as well, we share the link of some of the information we would like you to gain knowledge on as well. So just check on the recap post, you see the link where we'll leave it there, and there you can catch up on everything. Also, um, we'll be having a guide that Asbio would be releasing um, with us because we're working on that as well. So stay tuned. We will be um, uh, informing okay. you, talking about this on our uh, two cents page. If you haven't followed us, follow us. It's two cents, two cents together, one word. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, and just to, just to add to what you said before we say goodbye, finally, yeah. uh, keep tuning in because the next event will be about cover letter and interview, which yes. is the next step after you kind of grab the attention with your CV. So keep tuning in. Yes. Bye bye for now. Bye. Thank you, Asger. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.